Module 2, Lesson 5. Objective. Use addition and subtraction to solve multi-step word problems involving length, mass, and capacity. Vocabulary for the day. The three units of measurement we have been discussing deal with mass, length, and capacity. Let's everyone say the units of measurement of mass together. Gram. Kilogram. Let's everyone say the units of measurement for length. Centimeter. Meter. Kilometer. Let's everyone say the units of measurement for capacity. Milliliter. Liter. Remember, when solving word problems, we always need to use our C cub method. So the first C stands for circle important numbers. The next C stands for cross out unnecessary information. The U stands for underline the question. And the B stands for box in the action word or word that tells you what to do. Let's go ahead and set up our first problem and use C cub while reading it. The potatoes Camilo bought weighed 3 kilograms and 420 grams. So that's an important number, so we're going to circle that. His onions weighed 1,050 grams less than the potatoes. So 1,050 grams and less is going to be a key word here. How much did the potatoes and onions weigh together? So it's telling us to find out how much, so we're going to box that in. Did the potatoes and onions weigh together? Together is another key word. So first we need to find out how much did the onions actually weigh. We know that the onions are 1,050 grams less than 3 kilograms and 420 grams. So we can see that our potatoes are 3 kilograms and 420 grams. Now, finding out our onions, we'll go ahead and put V for our onions, and this is our variable or our unknown. This will be the actual weight of the onions, and we know that the onions are 1,050 grams less than our potatoes. Once we find our variable or V, then we can add our weight of our potatoes and our weight of our onions together which will give us our total weight or our variable W. So let's go ahead and subtract our onions from our potatoes. In order to subtract I'm going to go ahead and convert everything to grams so it will be easier for us to work out. So 3 kilograms is equal to 3,000 grams. So 3 is in my thousands place. 420 grams would go in my hundreds, tens, and ones place. And then 1,050 grams would be written as 1,050 grams. First we start in our ones place. 0 minus 0 gives me a difference of, please yell out the answer, 0. Then we move to our tens place. 2 minus 5. You cannot subtract 5 from 2. So we have to go to our hundreds place and take one one hundred from here and unbundle it and turn that into ten tens. Now our tens place is good, twelve minus five, our hundreds place is good, and our thousands place is good. Remember to say the difference when I say the problem. First we look at our tens, twelve minus five would give us a difference of 7. Next we move to our hundreds place. 3 minus 0 would give me a difference of 3. And finally we move to our thousands place. 3 minus 1 would give me a difference of 2. So our total difference is 2,370 grams. If I were to go ahead and convert this to grams and kilograms, I would know that 2,000 grams equals 2 kilograms 
and 370 grams. So now I know my onions weigh 2 kilograms and 370 grams. So let's read the question one more time. How much did the potatoes and onions weigh together? So I'm going to take the total weight of the potatoes and the total weight of the onions and add those together. Remember, when adding these together, you can only add like units. So I can add my kilograms plus kilograms, and I can add my grams plus grams. Just like when we add with our unit place values, we're going to line our place values up too. So one gram would be lined up, 10 grams would be lined up, 100 grams would be lined up, and then our 1,000 grams or 1 kilogram would be lined up as well. So 0 plus 0 would give me a sum of 0, 2 plus 7 would give me a sum of 9, 4 plus 3 would give me a sum of 7, and then 3 plus 2 would give me a sum of 5. So I know my total weight of potatoes and onions would be 5 kilograms and 790 grams. Let's go ahead and look at our second problem and perform C-cub on this problem as we read it. Mr. Rutger let out 18 meters, 46 centimeters of string to fly his kite. So 18 meters, 46 centimeters is our important number. He then let out 13 meters and 78 centimeters more before reeling back in 590 centimeters. So 13 meters and 78 centimeters is our import, other important number. And then 590 centimeters is what he reeled back in is also important. How long was his string after reeling it in? So we need to box in how long, and we need to underline was his string after reeling it in. There, all these numbers are important, so there's nothing to cross out. So first, let's go ahead and set up our tape diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and set up how much he lit out, and I'm going to go ahead and set up a box for how much he reeled in. So I know that he lit out. 18 meters and 46 centimeters the first time. Then he let out 13 meters and 78 centimeters more. Next, I know that he reeled in 590 centimeters. So on my bottom, I would show that as 590 centimeters were reeled in. So let's look back at our question. It says, how long was his string after reeling it in? And this would be the answer. H is our variable. Let's solve for H. So I know that first I need to add these two numbers together to get the total distance of what was reeled out or lit out. Then I need to subtract 590 centimeters from the total of these two to find my final answer. Remember, you can only add your like units together. So first we're going to add our centimeters together, then we're going to add our meters together. So here's our sum, and let's see how we did this. So first we start in our 1 centimeters place. 6 plus 8 will give me a sum of 14. So we put our 4 here, and we carry our 1 over to our 10 centimeters place. So 4 plus 7 plus 1 will give me a sum of 12. So now we have a 1 right here and our 2 in the 10 centimeters place and this is in our 100 centimeters place. And then we go over to our meters. 8 plus 3 is 11. So we put our 1 in our 1 meter place and we carry our other 1 to our 10 meters place. 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us a sum of 3. So we have 31 meters and 124 centimeters. So I know that 124 centimeters would equal 1 meter and 24 centimeters because there are 100 centimeters in 1 meter. And then I can add like digits to get 32 meters and then 24 centimeters would be left over. So I know my total of these two 
measurements together would be 32 meters and 24 centimeters. So now I need to take this number and subtract 590 centimeters. And the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and convert all of this into centimeters. So then we have like units. So we know that 32 meters is equal to 3,200 centimeters. And then 24 centimeters would be left over. So now that we have like units, we're able to subtract. So let's go ahead and start in our ones place. The top number is larger, so we are good there. So let's move to our tens place. We cannot subtract nine from two, so we need to go to our hundreds place and unbundle one one hundred and turn that into ten tens, which will change this to a twelve. And then we know that we cannot subtract one minus five, so we must go to our thousands place which will change this 3 to a 2 and will unbundle 1 1000 and bring 10 one hundreds over to our hundreds place. Now that all of our top numbers are larger than our bottom numbers, we are able to subtract. So remember, yell out the difference after I ask the question. 4 minus 0 in our ones place will give me a difference of 4. Next we move to our tens place. 12 minus 9 will give me a difference of 3. Then we move to our hundreds place. 11 minus 5 will give me a difference of 6. And then finally we move to our thousands place. 2 minus nothing will give me a difference of 2. So our final difference is 2,634. So if I were to convert the centimeters to meters and centimeters, it would be equal to 26 meters and 34 centimeters. So look back at the question and see what they asked. How long was his string after reeling it in? So the answer to this would be Mr. Rucker's string after reeling it in was 20, 26 meters and 34 centimeters long. Thanks for watching everybody.